So another thing that we can do when we're writing baselines is um, is really simple. We can go one, two, three, one. So on the E chord, I'm gonna go back to quarter notes for this, would be E, F sharp, G, E. So E, F sharp, G, E. Um, and then from G, it would be G, A, B, G. And then for A, it would be A, B, C, A. And then for um, C, it would be C, D, E, C. So what else can we do with bass lines? We can just create um, something rhythmic that, that repeats like a theme, right? So we could ha just keep all keep the notes the same. So I'm gonna have E, G, A, C. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna come up with a rhythm. So I'm gonna put a quarter note here, and then on beat two, I'm gonna come up on the and, and then uh, beat three. I'm gonna come in on the on the and as well. And then I'm going to tie that. So, do, 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 do. So, something like that. Um, so, then I'm going to do that on the E. And then I'm going to bring that down here to the G. Do, do, uh, do. And then I would do it again on the A, do, do, do. And then I would do it on the C, do, do, do. Okay. So one other thing that we can get into is um, we can play um, with this idea um, we can bring the um, let's do this here still in frame still in frame so if I have this idea, G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. So, and our chords are um, E, then G, then A, and then C. So one idea that we can do is the first two notes of each bar okay the first two notes of each bar I'm gonna play the first note so here I'm gonna play an E then in the third the next note I'm gonna skip a note ascending so I go not to the note beside, but I skip a note, so that gives me um, the G. And now, what I wanna do is approach this G, well, the next note in the chord. Um, so what I can do here is I can do 
I can approach from the bottom. So I could go um, back to E, F sharp, and then to, to that'll bring me to this G again. Or I could go B, A, G. Or um, you can also use the notes in between. So I could go E, G, A, G sharp, G. Or I could go E, G, um, it, it doesn't work from the bottom in this case, but there are other incidences where, where it does work when the, when the movement is different than this movement, it will work for that movement or that movement. Um, so let's say in this case, I'm going to go B, A, G. So B, A, G. So now I'm going to go from G. I'm going to skip a note. So after this G, I'm going to do a B. So now I can go here for the B, or I can go down here. I'm going to go down here just to change the mood, just to throw some, some movement in there. And then from here, I'm looking at um, getting towards this A. So what I might do is um, I could do the C, B, A, or I could do the F sharp, G, A, or I could do the G, G sharp, A, or I could do the B, B flat, A. So what I'm looking at doing is after I've done my the name of my chord and the note that's the, skip a note in the scale, I'm looking at two notes to lead into this. Okay, so um, let's do F sharp G A. So I'm going to come down here to F sharp and then I'm going to come down here to G and then A. So now from A I'm going to skip to C and now here, I can um, I can see what's going on. So um, what I'm going to do is, what should we do? Maybe I'll go D, D flat, C. Let's try, let's try that. So D, D flat, C. So now I'm on C, I'm going to skip to the letter E. And now I'm looking at getting back to G. So if I'm on E, and I'm looking at getting back to G, um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go F, F sharp, G. F, F sharp, and then that brings me, um, oh wait, I was going to the E, never mind, um, so let's fix that, C, E, let's go, we'll just put this one over here, so it's a C, we do C, E, we're going back to E at the beginning of the song. So I'm gonna go G, F sharp, E. So G, F sharp, okay? Um, now, you can also take these ideas and combine them. So I can take this idea here and, um, and I can make the E in, in octaves, and then the G in octaves, and then, and then the B in octaves, or I could take that other idea of this, um, this rhythmic idea that I came up with,
and I can combine it with this idea here. Um, so instead of just being all the same like this, um, I would go A, C, and then, uh, and then D or E, right? So instead of going do, 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 you're going to go do, 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 do. You're going to hear, you're going to hear the, the chords changing and notes that are leading into your chord change. Um, as, as you combine these ideas. So um, I'm going to make another video because this one's getting kind of long. But um, and I'm going to show you these ideas applied to um, this chord change uh, here and um, and walk you through that and then you can take your own chord changes write the scale out and put these ideas and what you really want to do is your first group of chords and your second group of chords you really want to have some contrast there so if you're if you're doing um, let's say just the whole notes for your first group of four um, your first section your a section in the B section when the chords change you want to do something a little with a little more action on it okay so I'll leave it there for now and I'll come back with another video on um, applying it to audio tool and you can listen to them in practice